We'll literally show you the career that you've been dying to see. It's time to experience the nooks and crannies of Korea as with your own two feet on... k Pat With Cedric. It is a Monday and this, since our new season started in spring, is the way that we kick things off with K-Patch. Cedric comes in with a video on any theme to do with any part of Korean culture and we'll show that to you in parts one and two and then get your content as well in parts maybe two and three. Cedric, how are you doing, buddy? I'm doing very well. I feel well rested. Yes. So I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Yeah. You're looking refreshed. Well, thank you. Look like spring suits you, <laughs> Cedric. I can tell you that. Yeah. Much. Um, we're both wearing the same washed out jeans again. again. What is this? This is this is not we, our only jeans. Are we jeans. wearing the same shoes as well? Almost the yeah. They, oh my goodness. <laughs> what are we? We're like bottom half brothers. That's awesome. That sounds weird. We're I'm not happy gonna say brothers. that. Happy hey, brothers. There we go. I like that. Yes. Both of us, just for any new listeners or anyone who doesn't know as well, we're both half Korean, yeah. though we may not look like it. Uh how has your weekend been, Cedric? Done anything interesting? Uh weekend's been great. You know, a little filming, uh was interviewed for a YouTube. YouTube channel here Ooh. and then also uh, I did my own video where okay. I reacted to a DNA test oh wow that Becky and I actually took nice not for any like Jerry Springer no. style unveil about mystery parents no or no crime or anything involved <laughs> like okay. that just simply finding out what our genetic makeup is oh in terms of like where you're from originally yeah. oh wow so that was interesting because I've been you know for years hearing about these DNA tests and you you know, people kept commenting uh -huh. on my channel, you should take a DNA test. I mean, because okay. I, I guess because I'm, you know, mixed. Yeah, and it would and be maybe more interesting. Yeah, right? yeah. And so the results were very shocking. Wow. You know, um, I discovered that I am partly from Ethiopia. At least wow. you could trace me back there. Seriously? Yeah. How far back does it go? And like, how small a percentage does it note? Like, if you're from, I don't know, half a percent from Botswana, would it tell right. you that? It, it does. Well, as far as the Asian countries, they do uh -huh. break down each country. I think some of the, like, Americas, they uh -huh. don't get super specific, but they break down into the certain percentages. Wow. And from my understanding, I think different DNA tests are more stronger in certain regions. Uh -huh. and, you know, I, This is a Korean one. That this you is took. a Korean one. It's a newer Korean company that popped up. And so they reached out to us and we're like, hey, why not? That's amazing. Yeah. Do you know how much it normally is to take this test? To be test? honest, no, I don't. But I think it is a reasonable price. And how do you do it do you need to go in and take your blood or anything like that well you can go to their website which obviously will not uh, plug uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you can go to their website and they just uh you order a test and they send it to you and yeah. you just spit in a bottle and send it back and, and within a few days a you get your results yeah that's enough <laughs> wow that's amazing yeah. stuff uh you can check out that video is it up yeah it oh, is up yeah. okay on sky seti that's uh cedric's youtube channel so that was my weekend that sounds really yeah. fun i've never done that uh and i guess yeah being high half half there'll be loads of different places where you've originally come yeah, from. yeah right? so it was very shocking and you know of course i i am mostly asian like uh, 57 or 59 percent asian and but then it breaks down to all of these regions and i'm like i'm am i even korean wow <laughs> and, yeah because yeah, there must yeah. be lots of influence from neighboring countries yeah. even yeah, for here sure. in korea right uh that's really cool maybe we could do a video on that one time sure, for k-patch awesome. as well i wonder if any of the listeners have done dna tests just for that reason or any other reasons let us know today uh today's hashtag before we get into things just quickly cedric sure. is clothes or or what is your favorite outfit if you had to describe it would it be something smart and sexy or casual and laid back uh it would be a mixture of casual and semi-formal okie dokie so yeah. describe your perfect outfit head okay, to toe sure, is there sure. a hat there is not a hat okay. because I think my head is too big for any hat. <laughs> really? Yeah. Um, but I would say it would, uh, let's see, I would have a pair of sunglasses. Okay. And then I would have a nice button-up shirt, cleanly pressed. Lovely. Probably darker. Okay. You know, and then I would have a nice form-fitting pair of, I don't want to say skinny jeans, but just really nice fitted jeans. Maybe some slim-ish ones. Yeah, slim jeans. What color? Tapered. Washed out like this? Dark blue. Okay. Yeah, dark blue, probably. Yeah. And then... Uh, 
uh, some like dressy shoes. Oh, really? Yeah. Not sneakers. And some funky socks. Oh, wow. Not sneakers, no. That's so I cool. think that would be like just my, that's what, that's how I used to dress before okay. I moved to Korea. I feel like my fashion is kind of <laughs> regressed. Decreased, yes. <laughs> no, but you've got yeah. the choice to wear anything you like, Cedric. I don't think I've seen you wear formal shoes in the studio. No, I've never come in with formal shoes. No. How come if that's your preferred thing? Is it just a bit of an effort to put those on well it's not the most comfortable uh-huh. you know i have to admit sneakers are a little better to wear <laughs> yeah that's yeah. my choice as well sneakers all the time just because of the comfort mm-hmm. and yeah i know smart formal dress shoes can look good but if you're wearing them all day your feet hurt like crazy by true. the end of it right uh today's topic then for k patch cedric where are you going to take us visually oh we're going to go to a self photo studio Ooh. here in korea yeah okie dokie describe what that is for anyone who's like self photo yeah. studio i mean two weeks ago that's what i was thinking too <laughs> but um as a photographer myself this was actually very fun because a self photo studio is essentially a I, I would argue it's a professional studio setup mm-hmm. where you can go in and take professional style photos yeah. by yourself. Without a pro photographer. Without there. a pro photographer. Now, there will be someone there, probably a pro photographer, helping you uh-huh. set everything up. But then you, they'll give you a trigger and you can just snap away with you and your friends or family, girlfriend, boyfriend, whoever. Wow. Yeah. Okie dokie. So what's your first video going to show us? So we're going to a self-studio that's located in Jongro, mm-hmm. and uh, we'll show you the process of pretty much taking the, the photos and all the props that are involved. So let's watch that. This is Becky's name in Korean. Oh, wow. Yeah. The it's appointment. got all the appointment, so, appointment names on there. Mm-hmm. So you should book in advance, I guess. Yeah. And so this is just a nice little so glimpse of all of the outfits, outfits that you can pick and oh, wear. Oh, they offer you clothing as they well. They do. You can wear your own, of course. And that's the outfit she picked for me. Nice. <laughs> you look Speaking like of, a... hold. <laughs> yes. You look like one of those fancy guys from the early 19th, 20th century. We were, going for, we were going, oh, going for that. Oh, wow. Yes. It's amazing. Just a really old school vibe, you know? It's like Mr. Sunshine These kind of attire. accessories here that... You can choose with your outfit. Were there any hats that fit your head? Uh, no, <laughs> I didn't even try. Oh, so there's a little like prep area. You can to actually do, do your and hair, stuff. yeah. And then she explains how to pretty much just function and take your own pictures. And also that little headshot. trigger thing mm-hmm. so is so you can take them remotely. Yeah. For 30 minutes. So, so they gave 30 us 30 minutes. minutes. We could just take pictures and have fun. And the pictures come up on the screen like straight away. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. So we're just snapping away. <laughs> we actually had an outfit change as well. So I we love decided it. to change our outfit a little bit. She's wearing your jacket. It's she cold is. evening. <laughs> so we're just going to make the best of it, get a few more shots, and then we'll look through the photos. I tell you what, time went by so fast, though. How long is that session then? That session is. 30 minutes. Just now 30 they, minutes. Okay. They, did, they were nice enough to give us an extra five minutes, and they gave us the option of doing black and white photos for the extra five minutes. So Ooh. she actually set up a whole other section yeah. just to do black and white photos for us. That's for free. wonderful. I've been to a self-photo studio before, but it wasn't like this uh, as professionally done. Like, you couldn't see the photos on a screen like that. That's really convenient. You had to keep yeah. going back to the camera and checking oh, and really? stuff yeah, on yeah. the little screen. I think... I think, yeah, these days it's it's easy to just monitor on a bigger screen. Yeah, that's wonderful stuff. So how much was that? Said? So that one was about 70,000 won. Okay, and yeah. they're giving you the camera, everything they're like that? They're giving you the camera, the studio, and plus the time. So uh-huh. I, think it's, I, think, I don't think it's a bad deal. It depends on how you look at it. Because sure. basically we took maybe close to 200 photos. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but you get the option for that price to uh-huh. choose two. Okay. To get edited, uh-huh. and then they'll you know print those two out for you. Oh, they give you print versions yes. of a couple of them. And they also email you those versions the, of those two mm-hmm. and then of those the, two the rest you get to keep as well or? no no so the rest like a hundred and something you don't even get the digital files for no you don't but oh, really? they give you the option of actually of course yeah. paying more and uh-huh. then you can get all of those raw files oh, which wow. we were debating whether or not to do it because it was so fun and we yeah. had so many good pictures that came out but we were like ah is it worth the extra twenty thousand? Oh, is that how much they charge to take the yeah. rest yeah that's interesting one. so 
The one that I went to, it was for my son's, I think his Pegu, so his 100 day mm-hmm. celebration like you have in Korea. And they didn't give us any printed versions, but part of the deal was you got all the raw files. Oh, like they just okay. gave you those instead. Yeah. I think it wasn't as expensive because number one, it was a good. How old is he now? About seven years ago. Mm-hmm. And number two, we went out of Seoul because I think the main cost of a photo studio is the rent that they have to pay. So Jongno is pretty expensive, I right. assume. That's central. So went down to Bundang and I think it was about 50,000 for close to an hour. So we got a oh, lot of okay. time. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know if we're going to see in your second video other things, but the backdrops, what not that plain white sheet, which looks really professional. It was just mm-hmm. lots of like propped areas. And you okay. could like go yeah. around. You'd have to move the tripod, obviously. But you got lots of variety in it. Was it just right. that screen there? It was just that screen. But there are also other colored backdrops, uh-huh. um, which are not in the, the video, I don't think. But uh, You can choose. You can. you can. Well, that is the main one, okay. which you saw. But then the black and white... Uh, she was able to give us another backdrop. And it's basically just paper that you can roll down. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so nothing fancy. And she goes away for the 30 minutes? Yeah, she goes in her little corner, does her thing. Okay. So it's probably nice, a nice little relaxed time for her. And she's yeah. just there whenever we need help. <laughs> sure. And then yeah. you feel self-conscious if a stranger is watching, I yeah. feel. That's why I don't like having an actual photographer there that I'm meeting for the first time. Doing it yourself. Sure. I think it's kind of fun. Uh, we'll get to some more videos from Cedric, some more of your messages. Tell us about photos taking in your country is it a big thing like in korea selfies have been around for ages and we'll uh, talk about that after some we are the night take your camera camera chenga we're back for part two k patch with cedric this week looking at the self photo studio we saw that video in part one that really cool the dress up aspect of it i wasn't expecting that like that must be a little gimmick of that studio as well yeah it was it was very fun and uh you know again you don't have to dress up but mm-hmm. it's an option and the unique thing is <laughs> for those of you guys that are wanting to get married in korea yeah. and don't have the funds for a professional photographer just go over there they have a few ways wedding dresses oh really yeah and take your wedding photos there you could have done it in a wedding you, dress you Cedric. That. i want to see you in a wedding dress <laughs> yeah. next time uh that's so true because here unlike in the west where i don't know many couples who do the pre-wedding photo shoot mm-hmm. the pre-wedding photo shoot here is like almost a must i've that's, seen so many that's people do true. it that is interesting usually in the states where i'm from mm-hmm. it's it's usually the day of you're yeah. doing the wedding photos yeah you do them i think early Early before the ceremony separately and mm-hmm. then together because you're not meant to obviously see each other on the day after the ceremony finishes the photographer takes aside the best man and like the bridesmaids and you all have photo time but here I've been to countless friends pre-wedding photo shoots and uh-huh. in, in the UK that's a celebrity thing to do so I'm like why are you having this <laughs> you're not famous and it costs a good like million one or so like a thousand dollars what a good idea just do it at one of those self photo studios yeah I mean the, the equipment is professional yeah yeah the photos you are a professional photographer Cedric mm-hmm. did you think that the quality was good on screen at least from yeah judging yeah it like I, I, I think so um, even you know the retouching can be subjective depending on who's doing it uh-huh. but um um, yeah, the actual photo quality and the yeah. lighting setup. I mean, you have less control yeah. on how you want the lighting to be set up. But... I'm guessing the average man will have no idea exactly. about that, right? Exactly. But for you, you you see something that you'd like to change a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And it, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it, you know. Uh-huh. So, uh, yeah, I think you are getting a professional uh, product back. Yeah. So no no complaints there. Because I was thinking 70000 without the digital raw files sounds expensive. But if you compare that to about $1,000 for a wedding photo mm-hmm. shoot, that's a steal. That's a bargain. Right. right? And just pay the extra 20000 to get all of the raw photos. And yeah. then you can you know retouch them yourself or have someone else do it. Not a bad that's idea how, at that's all. That's how you can save some money. Uh, we got some messages from our listeners. Glowy Jane says, we should get a photo shoot in a studio with all the Arirang Radio fans someday. I'd love to see the end product. I'll come and take the photos as well, if you like. I'm not. Maybe you should do that, actually, because you're a professional <laughs> photographer. I'll be a cheerleader. That would be yeah. a good sight, though, to have all of you guys here yeah. at the same In time. In the studio, we could take it. Lighting's not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Raul says he's never been in a photo session, but he does have a passport photo. Well, that counts because mm. that's in a self-studio that was the original thing, just that box. We used to have it in the post office in the UK. Did, do you have that in the States as well, the box to take passport photos? I mean, I'm sure there 
are. I don't remember seeing any. Usually you go to like the post office to take a photo or you can go to Walmart. Would they or... take it for you then? Yeah. The photo? Oh, yeah. really? They would take it for you. You oh. can go to like a department store or, uh, you know, like uh, a, a Walmart or something like that. And they to... have like a photo section and yeah. they'll print it off for you as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's interesting. In the UK, there's so many little photo boxes where you put in your coins into mm-hmm. the little slot and then you just take them like that. Raul and anyone else, we'd love to see your passport photos. No passport information, obviously, but passport <laughs> photos would in. be good. Siska uh, says, I really want to go to this photo studio. Uh, maybe we could get it on the Adidung TV show, See What I See. Anyway, I have a photo studio a long time ago but not a self one there was a photographer who took them for me i want to see those pictures siska yeah send it in siska yana says i try to take my family photos but it takes 30 minutes just to arrange everyone and get them in position (laughs) well yana if you've got little kids i can understand to get Gio and ellie to pose at the same time is impossible yeah that's the one thing i would never want to do is be a family portrait photographer (laughs) or work with kids i was going to ask you for some good tips on how to get my kids to pose but you're just giving up right (laughs) yeah i've i don't even ask me with that one (laughs) yeah i don't don't think there is a scientifically proven way i think you'd have to photoshop separate photos with poses uh yana and glowy jane also saying that in china and malaysia it is common to have the pre-wedding photo shoot anyone in the west i'd love to know if it's common where you're from because i don't think it is unless you're like david beckham and victoria beckham right the more common thing are engagement photos oh is that a thing yeah that is a thing so you get engaged and then you take them at a later date or while you're getting engaged and proposing well no usually you'll pick a date uh-huh. you know between your engagement and also your wedding day oh. and then you just have a photo shoot and a lot of times that'll be the photos that you'll use to to send to your your loved one saying, hey, you're invited to the wedding. We're oh, getting married. I Save see. the date sort of thing. And that's not in like a wedding dress or something. No, usually. no. It's just however you want to do it. Exactly. Oh, that's cool. Uh, video number two then, Cedric. Video number two is going to be the process of after Becky and I, we took the photos and we're going to show you as much as we could the selection process and what happens after. So let's watch. <laughs> Time's up. Oh, it pops up like that. That's mm-hmm. cute. I like that photo. <laughs> <laughs> the last photo right there. Okay, now it's time to select the photos. So she's saying we can select two. two. Okay. And unfortunately, I wasn't able so to right show now, you guys. Okay. Because that's part of it. Photos. You might be taking those photos exactly. on your camera. <laughs> Which is smart. And I believe edited, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we're going to have like quick edits sent to them. So right now she is editing the photos. So she does it on the spot. She does it. Right wow. Now, so. so I got some creepy shots of her. <laughs> <laughs> Over the shoulder. Yeah. Oh, that looks nice. You are wearing a hat, Cedric. Well, yeah, in that one. Yeah. Just, I, on almost, I totally Picture forgot. Pictures printed and framed. Oh, wow. They they're right framed here. as well. So you okay. Get six by eight for an additional 20,000. And then five by seven for... 15,000. So you get four by six. Included in the 70,000. Okay. And she just asked for our feedback if she wanted us to retouch it more. What kind of editing does she do there? I think just skin retouching. And okay. <laughs> she even mentioned she uh, made us look skinnier. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> oh, that's nice. With a frame as yeah, well. It's it very makes cute. it more reasonable. Very cute. And, you know, to actually show you guys in person i brought the actual photos here oh nice yeah, so let's i'll let you take a look. a look oh wow that's really cool i love that photo look at them looking super happy here yeah, i don't know so if I've we can get a close-up there we go of cedric laughing more than you've ever laughed in this studio for sure <laughs> are you happier to be with becky than my good looking self well cedric? you know <laughs> it's it's sort of a competition between you guys but yeah so Aww. so and, and of course becky being a model she directed the whole shoot and uh-huh. was telling me what to do Can which I is great because well. i i didn't know how to pose oh look at this one you dance in a way i love that <laughs> picture do you guys because you are for photog- you're you're especially a great photographer cedric oh, thank you does this 
still mean something to you having photos like this? It does. It does because this is more just us having fun and uh-huh. just in the moment. That's lovely. So I, it's really cute. And I don't know, because you're a professional photographer, maybe you'll do this more often, but for mm-hmm. me and my family and my wife, we never take these proper pro photos, you know. So my wife right. is kind of bugging me, saying, why don't we from time to time make the effort to do this? It's a good excuse, right, just to get some good memories. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I was happy because usually... Either I'm taking the photo of Becky or she's taking the photo of me. So we barely have a lot of good photos together. Uh-huh. So this is a good good chance to just bond like that. Yeah, the same have with something. me yeah. and my wife. It's either me with the kids or her with the kids. So it looks like we're single parents or something <laughs> in all of our photos. <laughs> right. You'd have to go to a wedding studio like that or mm-hmm. a photo studio to get them. So overall... Happy overall. with that? What do you overall, think? Overall, yes. I am happy with it. I'm still, for me, the 70,000 was a little like, oh. Uh, 30 it, minutes of photos. Right, right. But that's only because I am a photographer and uh-huh. I'm, I couldn't help but think I could do this myself. Yeah. <laughs> but but for the normal person or the average person, I still think this is a pretty good deal because you get the experience yeah. and you get to just hang out, have fun and just play around and you get the outfits. Yeah. I think yeah. that different studios do it differently as i mentioned my experience with the 100 day photo with geo was completely different like they weren't even in the room as well it was like a massive space almost like a mini warehouse Mm -hmm. and they had maybe seven different settings so different corners where you could take photos and they did have like a few outfits for the kids not so many for adults and then you just took the tripod around, took the lighting around with you. It was maybe less hands-on in terms of their help. So the photos maybe didn't come out as well. And they didn't print out anything for you either. So I think you can get like different deals right. at different studios. But even as a photographer, if you're saying, you know, it's a good fun experience for the everyday person, that must be a, a brilliant thing for yeah, a memory. I, I think so. And if you ever visit Korea, I think this is one of the things that would be fun to do and try out. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Find a self-photo studio here. Is it something? you'd consider doing Cedric as a photographer like having a self photo studio you know I thought about it actually after Becky and I left we were thinking hmm how can we do this ourselves and <laughs> yeah. make a you know a little side hustle out of it sure but uh, you know I would consider but also then that would require us to sort of man it you uh-huh. know, while people come in so be there know. all the time right yeah maybe just being a, a photographer who has to be there and take the photos that could be a bit more lucrative I, I guess I, right? would, I would think so yeah all right we're gonna get on to some listener content probably in terms of photos that you've had taken at professional studios or photo booths in part three keep sending them in via cacao talk our username there is daily k all one word after some yoda chingo g friend this is chokak click We're back for part three. K-Patch with Sky, Seti, Cedric in the studio talking about the self-photo studio here in Korea. But due to COVID-19, we realise it could be tough for you to go and film something about this. So any photos you've had like done professionally by a photographer or in a little photo booth, even for your passport picture, send them in as long as you're not too shy and we'll show it to just the rest of the world. No biggie, right? (laughs) Nobody's watching. It's all right. Uh, We've got lots of messages to read out. Rebecca Brown says, uh, my my brother's getting married and had a photo booth at his wedding. We're assuming here you mean like a booth where you can take memory photos at the wedding, right? Right. That seems like a thing that happens a lot these days in the States. You yeah, know, you'll have little props uh-huh. and like a little photo booth, quote unquote, set up. Yeah, and maybe the photographer just... would just take pictures, have fun with the I uh, guess. With yeah. the professional photographer, maybe there Usually. for an hour or two. I've seen it as well with the Polaroid cameras and mm, then you get yeah. the snapshot straight away, which is a nice memory to have. And you said next September you're going to be the bridesmaid. Ooh. Ooh, good luck with that, Rebecca. Very cool. Yana says, how can you only pick two photos from hundreds? So we had about, <laughs> I, I would guess, about 200 photos taken. It was really difficult. We had to use a program where we can star the photos that we wanted to uh have picked okay. and edited and so we just went through and narrowed it down to maybe 15 20 and then how from long did there, that take is that after the 30 she, minutes right? yeah yeah so she gave us 10 minutes to do that okay you got yeah, a time so limit everything on is that time, as well so, <laughs> <laughs> right so it was very difficult so becky and i we wanted to go with something more quirky and fun mm-hmm. because a lot of our photos are you know a little bit more 
professional, if you will. Okay. So we're going to have something that reflects really who we are. Oh, they looked amazing. I really oh, like them. But you. that also makes me feel that out of the other hundreds, there must have been some more gems in there too. There were a lot of good ones. It was very difficult, I have to say. I feel like because it's on the hard drive anyway, it's not costing them anything to give you that, right? right. But I guess that's part of the business in this digital era. <laughs> Glowy Jane gives us a little tip saying, taking photos of kids, I would say you need a lot of props and toys to keep them occupied yeah for that 100 days we bought so many rattles so we'd point the camera and rattle above the lens to right. make geo look i'm gonna admit this though he was sitting on a little bench and we were both distracting him and he got so excited he fell flat on his face and started crying no way the rest of the photos have a big bruise on his forehead <laughs> that we had to photoshop out if you that get is, my drift that is awesome sorry Rich. geo terrible parents <laughs> Yana says, I'm always the photo taker of my family. I'm always in charge of taking photos whenever there's a family gathering. I really should invest in some uh, in a good camera now that I've been using one for six years. Even though I'm not a good photographer and I don't know how to edit, still it's better to have a few photos than none. Is that your kind of mantra as a photographer? Do you take as many photos as possible or do you think it's better to like time it and try and get sure. one good one uh both okay. you know i try my best to time it and really capture the moment because composition and how you know the person is placed is very key but also a lot of photography a lot about photography is unpredictable uh -huh. and sometimes you want to capture the moments that you don't plan for so i try to take as many as possible while directing or you know trying to control the situation because we live in a digital era sure. so we can have tons of photos and we could just delete later i feel like before photographers did have a much harder job when it's yeah, film cameras right because you'd have to really choose what you're going to take a photo of because right. you'd have to pay so much money to develop it or you just use up your film quickly right? right and you can't you have no way of reviewing what you just took that's yeah. insane how much things have changed right. do you right? remember those days i grew up with film cameras you know <laughs> exactly. I, we, we might sound old but right. yeah until about i think my first digital camera was when i was 16 mm -hmm. uh they came out maybe a year or two before that but before that you'd have to yeah make sure you were taking a good photo yeah and then you'd have no idea until you develop the film and they could all be blurry. <laughs> it's terrible, wasn't it? I remember those days, yeah. Thank you, technology. Uh, we got some of your content now. Hartley has sent this in saying, this is my idea of a self-photo studio. It pops up in my spare room when we're not testing my robots. That's robots. pretty cool. What do you think of that? He makes robots on wow, the side Hartley, as a hobby. That's awesome. Yeah, I think that's, um, man, I, I'm a big advocate of using what you have. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've done similar things. Like a lot of my photos are actually, if you go behind the scenes, yeah. they look very similar. It's just like a sheet for the background. Yeah, yeah. Or like paper or just the wall. Professional lighting there, right? Those umbrella yeah. things. Yeah, and so the lighting is very important as well to shape the contrast of the photo. And uh -huh. so it seems like Hartley knows what he's doing. Yeah, because I've never had any flash other than on my camera, right? But <laughs> right. That can make a huge difference would you say yeah 100 percent. oh wow maybe 100%. i'll get some umbrellas and fashion my own flash that'll probably <laughs> be a bad idea uh yana from malaysia has also got in touch this is a bit more my style for self photos it looks like just a tripod and a camera you said these are my two items to get photos not only set up at home but outdoors since my camera can be connected to a phone i can snap even when the camera is far away the photo is me trying to take a family picture at my grandparents house Oh, wow. So some digital cameras these days, you can link it to your phone. Yeah, absolutely. Do you do that as well? Yeah, not with my big cameras, but okay. with my smaller cameras. Yeah. And then what can you do from your phone aside from take a photo? Can you view your photos? You can on... view your photo. Wow. Yeah, there's a there's so much you can do over Wi-Fi with these cameras these days. I haven't got a new digital camera in... <sighs> I'd like to say maybe eight years. Mm -hmm. So in that time, things have obviously progressed. Just a little a bit, lot. Peter. Just a little bit. Maybe I need to think about getting one because the phone cameras are so good these days. Yeah. Like, I just rely on that. Would you say it's worth it? Like as just a kind of amateur photographer to have a separate at least digital camera or even SLR. DSLR. Right. Well, if if you're wanting to get into photography, yes, whatever is in your budget, it's worth it. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, the best camera is the camera that's with you. OK. You yeah, know, so it doesn't. Moment, yeah, right? it doesn't matter who you are. I'm so, so grateful that phones are so much better than yeah. they used to be. Right. Because mm -hmm. that's with you all the time. Uh, we got one here from Cisco as well. More than one. These are some of your professionally taken photos. Wow. wow. You can tell this is 
is maybe from the 90s, right? <laughs> that kind of filter and that vibe. Nice. I love it. You say, sorry for spamming photos. Uh, these photos are all old and some of them from the photo booths. Wow, that's university graduation 21 years ago. You can tell like they used to have that kind of hazy filter, you know, right. which doesn't look as clear, but that was the fashion, wasn't it? Right. Why are you looking so serious, Siska, in the back row there? Where's the, why is everyone looking serious? Why are there no smiles? I think, I think that, that was, was the thing, just yeah. uh, just to kind of straight face at the camera. But there we go. Now, now we're getting better. to the fun. These are way more beautiful, I feel. Self-photo studio, you say. The pick in the background, and then you just click. Ah, you can put up different pictures, maybe as a digital like screen or something. That's wonderful. Uh, that looks really old style K-pop first idol generation. <laughs> I love it. Fantastic stuff. Uh, and you said your last one is in a photo booth. Did you ever try these out, the sticker booths? You know, in I was going to ask you the same thing because, uh, you know, to my shame, yes, I used to do that. <laughs> to your shame. In, in, in high school, actually, with uh, yeah, my friends, because we, you know, I used to hang out with a lot of like Koreans and, uh -huh. and those, you know, and half Koreans, but we were all into the sticker thing. Did they have that in America? Then? They had some booth set up, yeah. For mainly Korean customers, or were there lots of people from the States doing well, sticker was, photos? Well, it was in our mall, okay. uh, from what I remember. So I think it was just sort of, I think it was in Asian trend that sort of trickled into where yeah. we were. I don't think they were in the UK. So whenever I came to Korea, my cousins would make me do it. Mm -hmm. And at first I was self-conscious. Oh, this is for losers. And then I loved it. Right. Get loads of fun photos, stick them in a little book and everything. Yeah, that's nice. Leon, you've sent us in your passport photo. Very cool. Very... <laughs> <laughs> Very serious there. Uh, you say, the photographer gave me a digital copy too. It's from a few years ago when I renewed my passport. It looks better than my fo passport photo. I've got the oh, worst gosh. one ever. Yeah. Is that a thing? Can even not professional photographers take good passport I, pics? I think passport photos just by nature just don't look good. I mean, Leon, you look great. Yes, better than me, me and Cedric, for sure. <laughs> Raul, this is your passport photo, like actually in your passport. Wow, you're looking right. better than me as well. Yeah, you look a little, little angry, Raul. <laughs> Are you okay that day? Maybe to let you in <laughs> to the airport, you want to look angry. Right. This is on the license, I believe. That looks a bit happier. Yeah. Uh, pretty blurry, but I'm assuming that's your camera rather than the original post there. Thanks for sending all that stuff in. I know it can be a bit personal, but Cedric shared his stuff with Becky, which looks superb. Oh, Cedric. thank you. It was one very of my, fun. One of my favourites, I think, today for K-Patch. Thank mm. you so much, buddy. Uh, next week's theme was still undecided, so if you've got any suggestions, send them in, and Cedric will take those on board, and we'll pick one out by midweek and let you know what to film for next Monday. Have a good week, and stay safe. We'll see you on Monday, Cedric. Stay safe, everybody. Here's some Mamamoo self-camera.